What's up everyone, this is Ed Talenti, how are you guys doing? So, here's what we're doing today. Today we're gonna go on Fiverr, we're gonna find some music producers, we're gonna pay them money, we're gonna send them a couple melodies, ask them to flip them, and just, we'll see what they got. And by the way, no, this is not sponsored by Fiverr, this is my own money, so I'm gonna be broke after this. No, for real though, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so I can still pay my bills. <laughs> anyway, this is how it's gonna work. I made two melodies with two different vibes, just to give them a little bit of an option. I'm gonna send them over to these producers and they can flip them however they want to. The first melody is like this dark, sad, melancholic type melody, perfect for like a trap type beat. The second one is also pretty sad and like nostalgic. I just I just like that vibe. But it's mostly a piano thing and I think it would really work for both like a hip hop, like old school beat and a trap, more modern beat. So we got our melodies, we got our Fiverr account set up. Let's go find some people, give them some direction and see if they can bring some heat to the table. <laughs> Let's do this. Ha banger. We're already off to a good start. I mean, this is exactly what we're looking for. I will produce hip hop, trap, rap and R&B beats for you. Perfect, three days delivery. After selling the instrumental exclusively to you, I'm not allowed to sell the least instrument. This is an exclusive guys, perfect. Exclusive, five bucks, continue, go. I will produce trap, hip hop, and lo-fi beats for you. 176 five-star reviews. Whew. He's got basic, standard, and premium. Let's go with the standard. Three days delivery, four revisions. Let's go. Colby Ballard, five stars. It's only two reviews, but they were very happy. I will produce royalty-free hip hop beats and ghostwrite your music. Oh, wow. I make free for-profit instrumentals and full-length songs. Okay. We don't want lyrics, we just need the instrumental, so we're gonna go with basic. Go. Next up, we have Enes Drawi. I hope that's how it's pronounced. I will produce hip hop, trap, R&B, and lo-fi beats for you. Industry quality, radio ready beat, completely tailored to all your requirements. One day delivery. Damn, $4.79. You guys are selling these beats cheap. Exclusives, custom, $4.79. I feel like you guys should be charging a little bit more. I'm cool with this though, cause I'm paying for it. So continue, boom. And then last but not least, I will produce hip hop and rap beats for you. We got John, I'm just gonna call him John cause I don't know how to read the rest of his name. Six five star reviews. He's got basic, standard and premium. I think basic is just the MP3, standard is the wave and premium is the wave plus stems. Don't care about any of that. I'm gonna go with the basic. I'm gonna go with the MP3. Let's go. All right, we got five people. I think that's plenty. We're gonna come back in a few days once they deliver the beats and we'll check them out together. For those of you who might have missed it, I wanted to remind you guys that I am running a contest for producers. The first place winner is gonna bring home an Akai MPK Mini Mark II, a one hour private session with me, all of my sample packs so far, a one month top tier membership for my YouTube channel and an exclusive Discord beat battle champ role title thing. Plus there are a whole bunch of other prizes for second place, third place. All the information is at the link in the description. Make sure you read all the rules and follow all the steps because if you miss even one of the steps, you won't be submitted. By the time this video comes out, you'll probably have just about a day left to submit. So yeah, don't sleep on this. Whew. All right, I'm super excited for this. So it's been like, Four days, we got all the beats back. Actually, even the people that sell like three, four days delivery, they delivered pretty much same day, which I was really happy about that. Yeah, there's not much to say. Grab my headphones, let's go. First up, we got my man, the one and only, Hot Banger. Ooh, I like that. So you picked a sad piano melody. Fun.
fire. What can I say? That was actually really good. There were some things in the mix that I would definitely do a little bit differently. The 808 a little bit louder, maybe a little bit just like more present, more distorted, something like that. And then the drums, in my opinion, especially the top layer, like the hi-hat, the cymbals and the claps, they were a little bit too like sharp. Other than that though, my man Hot Banger, he really delivered. He came through for like five bucks or whatever we spent. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Next up, we got Mike Vince 12. All right, he picked the other melody. I don't think it changed it at all. Let's see where it goes. Okay. Not a fan of that snare. We're gonna say it right away. Okay, okay. I see what he was going for, like a more like chill vibe. I like the groove a lot. I think the 808 should have changed notes right there, like follow the progression a little bit more. I like that he took all the three parts of my melody because I had three parts in there and he used them all three. That's kind of cool. I like the way he arranged it. The arrangement is fine. Mike Vince 12, not bad. Uh, I feel like it could have been a lot more creative. Like there could have been a lot more stuff, just more dynamics, more up and down, different percussions, just like a little more color. This just felt kind of like my melody with drums on it and a one note 808 pattern, but I'll take it. It was a nice little vibe. I can totally see someone like using it for like a vlog or like a, like a YouTube video in general. Since he had three layers, basic, standard, and like advanced or something, and we got the standard, which is the middle one, the $20 one, I feel like he could have gone a little bit further like this is more of like a basic to me but again not bad so mike thank you for your work next up beat number three is by colby ballard let's go oh okay he went with a little halftime groove he didn't really flip the melody but it's okay it's okay Okay, the interest pretty damn long. Let's see, let's see where the drop takes us. Oh, that's a long intro, man. 35 seconds. What was that? Okay. Hey, this is different, I'll give you that much. I don't know about this one though. That's a lot of kicks. And I don't like that, man. <laughs> I like that he took it like half time. Like he cut, he put the snare on three, he cut it in half. But the drums are not great. The pattern could be a lot better. Okay. I like that he started the 808 part not on the root note, but higher up, and then he goes back down to it right here. I like that a lot, that's nice, that's creative. All right, Colby, not bad. I like the vibe that you were going for. I like the halftime. I definitely, definitely feel like the mix could have been a little bit better. And even more important, the drum sound selection, kick and snare especially, could have been a lot better for this type of beat. But hey, again, five bucks, exclusive custom beat. You can't beat that. Next up, Anas, 163 BPM. That's not one of my melodies, is it? No, that's definitely not one of my melodies. <laughs> Anas, we're still gonna listen to your beat, but you already messed up. The instructions were clear. It's all good though. Maybe it's gonna be a great beat. Let's listen to it. <laughs> What's with the dog? Okay. I hope there's another drop somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hey! Woo! Not a huge fan of that 808 sample, but it's okay. I like the part. Okay. Nice little verse. The 
quality is not bad, it's just a little bit repetitive. I feel like there should be like a few more layers that kind of come in and out. So just give it some variation. Anas, that wasn't bad. It wasn't at all what I asked you to do, but that's okay. I feel like the beat wasn't too bad though. What did you guys think? There were definitely some problems with the mix and I would have definitely picked some different samples with drums in 808. But other than that, it was an okay vibe. It was nice and like bouncy, it was okay. Anas, if you're watching this, I really appreciate you. Just read the instructions next time. <laughs> Last beat of the day, we got John ITM2. The beat is called Nostalgia, 165 BPM. Starting off with the nice little vinyl crackle. Okay. All right, nice. I feel like the crackle is a little bit too loud, but I like it a lot, I like the crackle. Let's hear that drop. Woo! I like that vocal sample a lot. I can't tell if the 808 is a little bit out of key. Cause it's kinda like quiet on the headphones, but it feels like it's out of key. Nice, you emptied it out nicely. Yeah. Hey, I like the vibe of this one a lot though. It's different than all the other ones. I like this a lot. I like your drums. I really like your hi-hats. The hi-hats are perfect. John, really nice, really nice. One of my favorite ones of the day. You didn't really flip the melody all that much. You kind of kept it the way it was, but I really liked your drums, especially the highest. The percussions were really, really solid. Nice little bounce, nice little groove. I like the lo-fi-ish type vibe. John, good work. All right, that was the last beat of the day. I feel like the best one was Hot Banger, beat number one. I'm not gonna lie, with that name, I wasn't expecting much, but Hot Banger, dude, you came through. That was the best beat of the day, and it was actually a really good beat in general. All right, this was a blast. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys liked watching it, and even if it cost me a little bit of money, this was totally worth it. This was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe button and notification bell. As always, I really, really appreciate all the support. All right, I guess this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I'll see you next time, and as always, always be positive and positive things will happen.